Well, hello, my fellow gamers. It's Katesy, and welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I am Creative Katesy, aka Katesy, and welcome to my channel. We are back with another island tour, you guys, and I am so excited for this island tour. We're going to have a serious moment here. This island was created by one of my best friends, Matilda, and she is an amazing amazing creator guys i can tell you from the walk from the residential services the walk over to the uh, airport it was a short little jog but oh my goodness <laughs> this is going to be a beautiful tour for you guys. I hope you are excited as I am because this island is a port city island and Matilda did not hold anything back. I have heard hints about what this town is going what this town has gone through for its development and design and everything. I think she shared a picture with me once and it just took one picture. One picture for me to be blown away. And it's like, if that is just one section of your island, that picture, if that is just one section, the rest of it is going to be just as amazing, guys. This is gonna be super excited. If you wanna come and check out this island yourself, all of the information for Matilda's DA address, her socials, everything that you could ever find out about Matilda and this island, those are all going to be in the video description below. Be sure to check them out because Matilda is incredible. And I'm not saying that because she is one of my best friends, but because of the fact that she is a very talented creator. She is fantastic. So I'm excited to be here, guys. As I mentioned, this is her island known as Fiddleport. It is a port town. And this is what she has to say about her island. I love her description. So guys, check this out. Fiddleport is a cozy port town where you can get a glimpse of the everyday lives of fishermen, sailors, and dock workers. But as a visitor, you did not come to Fiddleport to work. You came to enjoy the peacefulness, the sounds of the ocean waves hitting the shore, and the pretty views that the town has to offer. And I have a feeling, guys, this town is going to have some spectacular spectacular views. Make sure to show your support for this video by clicking that like and subscri subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be alerted whenever new content is added. And if you want me to check out your island, there will be a link in the video description below for you to submit your island for an island tour. I love checking out your guys' islands, so please submit your island for a tour. But let's go ahead and check out this map. Oh my goodness. So it's not like as, what's the word that I'm looking for? Like, would flamboyant be a word that I would be wanting? It's not as natural flowing as you would find with a, a nature core, but it's not the typical structured you would find with a... Uh, well, it is structured. Okay, let me take that back. It is very structured, as you can see, because of the fact the cliffs are very straight edge, things like that. But typically when I think about like towns, I don't know, it, sometimes I feel like when I think of a true town core, that it's very uh, symmetrical, a lot of similar elements, even though like we've met, we've toured a lot of town core islands or city core islands, we've not seen very many of them that are symmetrical. It's just always like what I think of for whatever reason. When I think of town core, I'm thinking very structured, very symmetrical, things like that. This is not the case with this island. As you can see, her residential services is very much off to the left there. And her, um, she, it doesn't look like she has a very distinct shopping district that you would find in a town core but it looks like all of her houses are kind of clustered together and she does have two residents here also she did mention there are a lot of places to take amazing photos uh so we are going to definitely be doing that today so bear with me as i try to get the perfect shot for you guys <laughs> but this island looks 
fantastic. As I mentioned, two resident homes. She did mention that all of her villager homes are remodeled as well as the resident homes. So we will be sure to check those out. Any beach that isn't decorated, she said, would be... Um, Oh, just looking at the notes here. She said that it would be inaccessible or blocked off and that the campsite we would not be able to get to either, which seems very evident by this map. But this map looks incredible. And as far as villagers, we have Apollo, Pearl, Ace, Huck, Derwin. Yeah, Derwin. Dora, Pom Pom, Pippi. Chabwick and Blanca, right? I am blanking on her name and I think it's Blanca. I apologize if I'm saying that incorrectly, but oh my goodness, what a unique grouping of villagers here. I, a lot of these I have not ever seen before. I actually have seen Chadwick. Spoiler, guys, he is on my island. <laughs> but uh, a lot of these I haven't really seen on I people's islands. They are very, uh, they're not as popular as some of them. I know I typically go with my favorites, and a lot of my favorites happen to be popular villagers. But this is a really interesting mix, and I cannot wait to see how they are incorporated on the island. So let's start exploring, you guys. And she did leave some presents for us. All of these presents are actually out front of residential services. I will make sure to show those to you guys uh, when we head back towards residential services. So let's see what we've got here. Oh my goodness, a pushing rod. Yes! Got a skirt. She's gonna dress, up, dress us up, guys. Denim pants. Sneakers. Ooh, we got some fish bake. Ooh, ha, ha. Can anybody tell me that reference? I'd be curious to know. All right, let's put our outfit together. Dolly shirt. Interesting. Student cap. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is too funny. All right, I'm going to go with the sailor look here. Oh, my gosh. Nope. We're going to go definitely with the sailor look. But which hat do I want? We'll go with this. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> This is awesome. I love this. All right. We're going to we're going to hold the fishing rod here. That Oh my gosh, that just completes the outfit. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is just too cute. But yes, I will make sure to point out where you can pick up the uh those items so you can create your own little outfit here. But let's start exploring you guys. And right off the bat, look at this. We are instantly transported into a dock feeling. This is incredible. Look at this, you guys. Oh, hang on. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> that would have been awesome. To be able to sit there and act as if I'm fishing on the dock here. Oh my gosh, this is just... This is awesome. Okay, I'm actually gonna do, hang on, I'm gonna do my trick. I know I've been doing this a lot with my tours, but part of the reason for that is because of the fact that I absolutely love this angle. I love being able to see things just a little bit taller because it, normally we would not get this beautiful view that we are looking at right now. This is just, amazing like I think we've toured let's see we've toured a 
couple of like fish town, port town islands, but none of them off the bat have been a dock going into the land. And this is just remarkable. The distance just hits the feeling right on the right on the head there. And that is just incredible. Okay, so I'm going to send this over to residential services real quick. So right here is where you'd wake up and right here in front is where all those gifts can be found. So you can pick up your own little outfit here. Oh my goodness, look at this little spot. Oh. I think I'm going to be feeling two major feels during this tour. The first one being incredibly awestruck by the builds that Matilda does and then the other feeling is overwhelming adorableness because I have a feeling this is gonna hit both of those feelings for me because look at this this is just so adorable and cute <laughs> me 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 <laughs> Okay, okay. Goosefaba, goosefaba, Katie, goosefaba, focus. <laughs> All right, so let's start off by checking out this villager. I noticed that they're home, so I'm curious to see what the insides of these houses will look like. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. It definitely has a very open, airy feeling to it, and I love it. I love the codes in the back there of the books. That is fantastic. But I really do feel like... This is... Oh my goodness. This is just... It's a very simple design, but yet elegant at the same time. And I absolutely love it. I love it. Bravo. I love that. And I always have an issue putting rug on carpet. I actually have a, a challenge with putting carpet down for my villager homes. I need to. I really, really do. No, who is not home? <gasps> Pippi, how dare you? I want to see your home. We'll go up the stairs in a second, but look at this, you guys. This is just... Oh my goodness. I love the code right here. This is just incredible. Also, I believe Matilda mentioned that the codes that she used for her island here should be on her Instagram account. So if you're curious to know what she used, um, she should have all of that information on her account there. And if you if you don't see it, reach out to her. She is a very down to earth person. She's super sweet. Um, and she would be happy to share that information with you. And she's a detective when it comes, like, she is the code finder FBI agent. I swear. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is Chadwick's house. A very different feel from Ace. Very different feel. But I love that they all have, so far, now I can't say all because we're not going to be able to tour all of the villager homes, but so far I love the fact that they all are that they have been blue so far. They have a bluish feel to them. Which is awesome because of the fact that, you know, they're in a port town. And Matilda is just really good about, you know, keeping with similar themes. She may use different items or she may do different configurations and stuff like that. But she is very, very good about um, keeping with a simple theme such as the color blue or if she wanted to do something like like her last island was yellow and everything was yellow I kid you not it was all yellow <laughs> 
But yeah, she just, she takes a simple theme and just runs with it and turns it into something incredible, just like what we're seeing here. But yes, I love this. I do love that the bathroom is also blocked off in the corner there. That's, that's a very creative idea. I gotta use those curtains more often. I don't for whatever reason, and I really need to because I see people use them and they're just fantastic. Oh, look at the little fish mart. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> this is cute. I love it. And look at the, um, so these are umbrella codes or umbrellas with custom codes on them to have like fish and lobster. Oh my goodness, I might have to steal those for some builds. But those are awesome. I love them. And then let's see, what is down? Oh no, it's blocked off. Oh no. <laughs> So that would be one of the beaches that are blocked off. Got it. Ugh. Double bridge action right there. Heck yes. And of course, no Matilda Island can be counted as complete if it doesn't have a post office. This is remarkable. And I love that every single time that we have come to one of her islands and seen the post office, every single one has been different. Every single one. It's, it's remarkable. I don't know, Matilda, I don't know how you come up with the ideas for each of your islands, for each of your post offices, but it's fantastic. I have yet to see a post office on any of your islands be the same build. This is fantastic. Like I said, guys, if you do not know, this is her signature on all of her islands she's had so far. She has yet to have an island that does not have a post office. Ooh, there you go, Matilda. You should make an island theme that is completely a post office. That's a challenge. I challenge thee. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. It's a little art stand. Oh, that is beautiful. Of course, I'm, I'm one that I am a sucker for like art stands and, um, oh, what are they? Uh, places to do any type of creative outlet. So whether it's painting, clay, whatever, I love it when people incorporate those on, on their islands. Oh, look at this. I love this so much. The combination of the wheat fields. <laughs> That's why they're called wheat fields, because you go wee! <laughs> and the, um, the stakes here and the dock, Fantastic. Absolutely incredible. And then we have Nooks right here with a little cookie stand. Oh my goodness. And then of course we have some ice cream. Might have to take one of those for the road. Oh, look at this. It's a little carnival. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my goodness. I love this. What a really creative idea. I love this so much. Especially on the beach here. What a great way to just kind of put this in a little pocket of your island. And it continues on to the dock. I do love that she left a space so that way if she wants to go get boat tours she's able to do that 
fish, dang it. Let me, let me get the fish. Let me get the fish. I want the fish. Nope. <laughs> okay, so we'll head back up this direction. And in the background there, we have the museum. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. I know there's not anything fancy done with the museum. And sometimes, you know, designing for the museum or creating around there can be super hard. I know I have a challenge with it, especially when it's like you're doing a theme that doesn't necessarily need the museum or the museum just seems so out of place. This just works. I mean, there's not a lot around it as far as items or anything like that, but yet it it fits in seamlessly. It's fantastic. And I do love that the signs are pointed everywhere too. <laughs> oh, yep, so there's the block off. <laughs> okay, so I think we need to head back this direction and head up to the second level. So we'll just sneak on through here and head up here. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. This is amazing. I love how clean it all looks. I love how polished it looks. This is fantastic. I just, I love the color combinations that we are experiencing here. It's fantastic. Ooh, here's her resident home. Okay, so we'll go in here first and then we'll check out the other villager homes. Oh my goodness, so she has majority of the room blocked off, which is fantastic. I love this so much. Who said that you needed to use the entire space of this main room? Sometimes I find that there is too much space in this room. And you just need to just kind of block it off like this. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I love how everything is just set up right here. It's a very simple, very clean look, and yet it makes it so complete. Love it. Yeah, guys, if you find that you just don't need all of the space of that main room, condense it. Go ahead and condense it. Oh my goodness, look at this room. <gasps> oh my goodness, I am going to have to steal this idea. This is giving me such inspiration for Hobbiton. I'm thinking for Bilbo's study. This is awesome. Okay. I'm trying to get a good picture here that it's going to incorporate everything think that did it but I love the low divide right here I love the fact that there's this split right here it's fantastic giving me some major major inspiration vibes going on awesome And then we head down here. <laughs> yes! Oh my god! 
gosh, Matilda! This is fantastic! Oh my gosh, now all you needed was the uh, pole vault with a pattern of like a roller underneath it, and that would have been perfect. Oh, this is fantastic! <laughs> See, guys? Sometimes this is all you need to make a room feel complete. She did mention that the basement wasn't quite finished, kind of un under construction, but encouraged me to come down here to witness this. And frankly, I am just blown away because this is genius. I want to do this for a future build now. You have no idea. This is such genius. And it hits a little, it, it hits close to home, guys, because I actually used to be a painter. So, like, not like um, creative or anything like that, but I actually used to, back in my college days, rolled out walls for college dorms. During the summer, that was my job. I went around and I painted campus. Um, it wasn't a hard job, but it, the challenging part was the fact that some of our dorms did not have AC in them. And so those were some really warm summers, <laughs> especially when there's not a lot of air breeze coming in and out of the building. But this fantastic. Matilda, I have no idea where you get your ideas from. And... I don't want you to stop because however you're getting them, genius. Genius. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so cute. What an amazing idea for the second floor. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys are all blown away by this as I am, because this is fantastic. This is just incredible. I love that it's like a little apartment. It is so cute. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I'm going a little fast there, guys. I apologize. Oh my gosh. Like I said, Matilda, genius. Gene, yes. Okay. That was incredible. I just, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. You know what's really crazy to think is that we are probably about, yeah, we're about 30 minutes into this island. And I feel like we haven't even covered half of it. That's how much we've seen on this island. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. This is adorable. <laughs> but this is so cute. I love this. And that is such a great idea for the kitchen. Just kind of tucked in here like this. Amazing. Such an incredible idea. And then I love that there's this little area for um, sitting down for food. And then the living room area. And then, of course, the bedroom awesome absolutely love it i need to get better about moving things around and fixing the spaces in my villager homes because i feel like i'm doing a lot of the same patterns and i need to just branch out and push myself to go beyond that okay so we got the next villager home right here we're just gonna hit all the villager homes at once <laughs> Seeing as they're all in the same area. 
<laughs> oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is fantastic. If you guys can't see it, right behind me, right here, are steps leading up to a door. What? That is awesome! What an incredible idea. And then on either side of it, just some partition thingy ma boppers walls not partition walls but the divider things and then you have the bedroom back here oh my goodness what an amazing idea oh i love it i love it i love it i love it but that again just genius Genius, girl. Genius. Love it. If I ever at any point during this island tour just stop talking, it's because I'm in awe. I am just breathtaking. Or I'm just, like, I've lost my words kind of thing. <laughs> so, it's not because I went mute or anything, it's because of that. Oh, I love this. So, instead of using actual water and uh, not being able to have like trees right next to the water, she used a water code. That is awesome. You know, I do have a question though. So, Matilda, you'll have to answer this for me. How does the boat get down to the water? Because we've got steps over there. I haven't seen cars. How's the boat going to get down to the water? <laughs> I mostly ask that, that question to give Matilda a hard time. <laughs> It'll probably, she'll probably tease me about it later. She'll give me some amazing answer of how the boat gets down to the water and then give me a hard time for uh, not thinking about that. It's like, dang it. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is the second resident home. Okay. So let's go see this one. Resident, not villager. Resident home. So I believe this one is Matthew's home. A what? <laughs> oh my goodness. Matilda. Holy cow! This is awesome! Again! Fantastic idea! Way to just kind of block off everything. Oh my gosh. You are a master creator. I am officially bestowing that title onto you because you take things, and this is what makes what I, this is the reason why I'm making you a master creator is because you think so much outside the box. I have yet to see you have any limitations on this game. I'm, I'm not joking. You are a master creator because of doing things like this. I would have never thought to do something like this. Majority of the tours that I've been on, this is not a common practice. And that is what makes your builds so amazing, so unique, and you now are officially bestowed the title of Master Creator. Actually, no, 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 I take that back. You have been a Master Creator this entire time. And it's my fault for not bestowing this upon you sooner than this. We have been, uh, like, BFs for 
a while now, and <laughs> bad Katesy, bad Katesy. <laughs> Should have just started with the title. Just been like, here you go. Just I'm handing it over. But this is awesome too. Look at this little mart. This little shopping mart. I love it. This is just so cute. <laughs> Again, guys, if you're struggling with filling up space, do not be afraid to condense the area down. Sometimes the smaller the area, the easier it is to decorate it. And it, like I 100% stand by that because when I was in college, I had a really big room at one point. I had a room that I shared and then I had a smaller room. And of all the rooms that I had in college, I enjoyed the smaller room the most because of the fact that I really had to push myself to organize it in a way that made it work and flow and everything else in between. And it just, it was one of my favorite rooms. And the weirdest part was it was a room in one of the oldest buildings on campus. But I still loved it. It was awesome. But I love this right here. That is incredible. Such a cute, cute design. Like I said, Matilda. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. We have more epicness to discover on this island, so let's keep going, you guys. Again, the boat. How how does it get down to the water? How do how what? It's it's stuck. The poor boat is stuck. It can't get down to the water. Oh no. I do love that there's this little spot that you can just sit here and just go blink. No! It's not big enough? What? Okay, hang on. We're gonna do this. No! Let me cast my line. Dang it. That makes me sad. <laughs> hang on. <laughs> I know Matilda's gonna yell at me for this. <laughs> not the weeing part, but the fact that I'm going off the path to run through the wheat fields. <laughs> she'll laugh at me and then she'll yell at me. <laughs> She's like, you weren't supposed to go there. Then black it off. No. <laughs> I'm feisty tonight. I'm noticing this, guys. <laughs> Which will might, might make it more entertaining? Question mark? Oh my goodness. I... I, I want to get to the wheat fields. Uh, I want to get to the wheat fields. <laughs> she has them blocked off. Oh, and a little music area. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, the, the gyroids are performing for us. You guys see this? It's so adorable. It's adorable. I love it. Okay, I do see her back there. We will have to go say hi in a second, but I wanted to check out over here. Oh my gosh, I love this. It makes it, you know, from this angle, if we were gonna come across like this, it kind of makes me feel like we're about to like jump onto a ferry. Kind of like one of those um, steamboats that they used to do um, card tournaments on long long time ago i'm i'm talking long time ago but it just it makes me feel like we're about to like jump onto a ferry and go somewhere that's the feeling i got right there even though on the other side it doesn't reflect that it's pretty that was pretty cool that was pretty awesome oh yay okay so that's where i thought everything was going to connect through okay I want to check the map. Okay, so that does do that. 
<laughs> okay, so the upper portion, that third level, we will get to later. So we'll come back to that because I see that there's another area that we can come down and check out. So I will, well, hang on. Nope, I got an idea. I got an idea. I know what I'm going to do. Oh, hello. How's it going? Something smells fishy. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was too good. Okay, so I got an idea here. <gasps> I see a few. Oh my gosh. What? That is a gorgeous view. Look at the details of the items that make up this view. This is absolutely incredible. And the stacking and everything. Fantastic. And of course we got the boats. The boats have found water. You're saved. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness what an incredible view right there you guys oh we can go down there yes okay first we're gonna come over here make sure that we did not miss anything we will say hello to Matilda oh thank you Oh, look at this. It's like a little bakery. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. No, I want the water. Sorry. I don't I don't want to miss the water. That is so adorable. I love that. Oh my goodness, is this another view? <gasps> Look at this. Wah! Hate it when I push the wrong button. Give me a second. There we go. I wonder if we can do this. this way that's really cool I know all we're seeing is water out there but what an amazing idea the fact that you can just like overlook the water I know for some people that can be kind of boring but I love just kind of looking out over the water and just seeing blue horizon and you get that right here and I really want to go jump in and get that creature <laughs> but that was fantastic what a breathtaking view that's something that I'm really trying to push myself to be better at is those far off views and people being able to see them so I'm really with this current island that I'm working on it's been taking me a little bit longer than I thought I would mostly because of the fact that I'm I've been going back and forth to make sure that what I'm building works for the view that I've already constructed so I'm really trying to get that all laying out correctly or laying out the way that I want to so it's been a challenge but it's been a fun challenge at the same time so but Matilda just makes it look so easy I don't know how you do it girl but it just looks effortless, and I love it. So a little bit of a note for this air, not this house. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll hold off, I'll hold off, and then I'll, I'll tell you the little side note for this. Just so that way we make sure that we spend the time 
drooling over this house build. This definitely just seems to scream Apollo. I don't know why. I've had Apollo on my island before. It was a long, long time ago. He was actually there for when I did Breath of the Wild. And Breath of the Wild I did before the 2.0 update. So that was a long time ago. I have been tempted to go back and do it again. But I feel like if I did, it wouldn't be Breath of the Wild. It most likely would have been... Um, Oh, what was it? Uh, kind of like a ruined castle feel to it. But this is incredible. This is just fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. Amazing little, little home there. Anyway, so Matilda made note that this dock area by the secret beach, which I believe the secret beach is back over here. Yes, it is. Was inspired by Nora, Nora's island. So she created a poor island, very, very similar to this. And this area right here, she wanted to let me know and what let you guys know was inspired by Nora's uh, port build. I think it was so the recent one that we've done from like tour we've done from Nora was Veilstone and that one was a port city but Nora also has a a fishing village and another like seaside port slash fishing village island in there somewhere. I believe she has a total of three officially um or three of them that are very similar, if I remember correctly. I don't remember the names of the other two, but Veilstone was the one that I toured not too long ago, and she pulled inspiration off of that one and wanted to let us all know. So if you guys need inspiration, Nora's a good source. Matilda definitely here is a great source. I, When it comes to inspiration, for my own islands, I do pull a lot of inspiration off of Matilda's Islands, Nora's Islands, and then Peppy Crossing as well. Those are my go-to gals when it comes to needing to be inspired for a build. So there's the little secret beach. So if you guys are stuck and not sure where to turn, these gals have got you covered. And I love the consistency of the whites and the blues with with the pops of the greens. I love it. And then of course we got some pops of browns in there too to just kind of pull everything together. The colors are just incredible. Oh my goodness, look at this, this is so awesome. I hope you guys are enjoying this island tour as much as I am. This, I am just in awestruck for this entire island so far. I want to live here. Can we make this a reality? That's where I'm at right now. I want to live here. What do we need to do to make that happen? <laughs> please, please make it happen. Oh my goodness. So she did tell the, tell me that there was going to be a few locations where I needed to do this trick of the camera. I think this was another one. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love it. got another little bridge right here. I know, there's been like man-made bridges everywhere on this island. But there, I just, I love bridges. I really do. I love bridges so much. One thing that I wish that Animal Crossing would have allowed us to do is construct bridges between land masses. So not necessarily needing to have 
um, water underneath, but it'd be awesome if we could walk underneath the bridges as well. That would have been fantastic. Because could you imagine if you had like a highway or a city way or anything like that and you were constructing this bridge over that? It would have been awesome. Awesome experience. Okay, so we're going to head back this direction because I, I just saw the steps for the third floor and I want to tackle that third level from this angle. So we're going to head back over here and we're going to go up this way. And right off the back we see Abel's! Oh my goodness, this is so cute! Just a simple little setup outside with a beautiful fountain right here. Absolutely incredible. I love that. That is adorable. All right, hang on. No! Nora, or not Nora, blah 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 blah. Sorry, Matilda, you're mean. You put so many wheat fields here and you're not letting me run through them. This is a new type of torture. You're torturing me, aren't you? Hang on. Where is it? Do I have it? There it is. <laughs> That's what you get for denying me access to your wheat fields. Goodbye, dear wheat fields. <gasps> Wait. Wait. <laughs> I know that was a very evil laugh, but it was well deserved. <laughs> First of all, beautiful little setup here. I love this for making various fish type meals. But I am going to go walk on water and go wee! <laughs> ah, this is so awesome! <laughs> okay, I take back my crying before. I take I take back the uh, the torture comments. Thank you, Matilda, for allowing me access to your wheat fields. <laughs> She knows how much that means to me. She knows. Okay, so we're gonna head down this way now. I know that this is a beautiful spot coming up to the left for a picture. Cause look at that. Look at that view. Yes, we are doing it. Look at that. That is stunning. And I love the fact that it's not too far away. That it, it feels like it's just within reach here. But at the same time, it is far away. It's a very far. It's, it's a lot of squares away from us right now. But this is just incredible. What a beautiful, beautiful view. Absolutely amazing. Because, yeah, look at that. Fantastic. And it's a great idea for your campsite, too, to kind of give it its own little area. But if you don't want people to really be around it, this works out perfectly. Works out perfectly. Okay, so we'll head down this way. 
Looks like we have a little area to sit down, relax. Oh, hello! Oh, we did say hello to you. Sorry! Well, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> But look at this, it looks like it's a little cafe! Oh my goodness, this is so cute! This is adorable! Now, Matilda, are you gonna cooperate this time? Oh! Oh! Really? Matilda, I try so hard. I try so hard here, woman. And of course, I decide to... Yeah, turn around! That'd be perfect! Just t turn around! Turn around! Turn around! There we go! Yes! Ha! <laughs> oh my goodness, this makes me relive the experience that I had on one of Matilda's islands in the past. I was touring her island and I was set up to take a picture of a build that she did for Leaf. She did like this le nice little, or this cute little greenhouse kind of, kind of build. And her character kept coming in and out of the shot and I was just like okay fine we'll do a shot together let's do this and I'm sitting there waiting for her to either stop moving or to face the correct way <laughs> and I got so frustrated with that that I was like I quit I'm walking away <laughs> We almost relived that experience right there. Not gonna lie. Matilda, you just can't make it easy for me, can you? Just can't do it. <laughs> but anyways, that little cafe is just super, super adorable. And I love that this whole little area right here was created because of the fact that typically when I'm thinking of a port or a city or anything like that, I'm thinking of, you know, the, the seaweed, the garbage, the clutter around. And she put that into this small little area, kept the rest of it very neat, very tidy. And I, I love that. I love the tidiness of this island. I think it's absolutely incredible. But at the same time, she has little touches of clutter that I would think would be a part of a port city just because of the fact that not everybody's gonna run after a, a piece of trash that is blowing down the dock or anything like that and plus with being a port city things are moving around quite frequently and quite fast and so yeah I love it I love that there are just these small little pieces that are just that just really tie into that traditional what I would consider a traditional um, port feel for the island and stuff now I know there are some air there are some port cities that are very very clean very similar to this and I know that's a very fun fact but I'll admit like the places that I've been to that have been port cities or I have seen like on movies or games or anything like that they have more of this this kind of clutter feel to them and I know that there's two sides to every every port, that there is a more cleanly feeling and a more cluttered feeling. And I love that both are represented on this island. That's what I'm getting to. There we go. It was a very long-winded thing, but I got there. And again, how, how, do, how do the boats get to the water? Where, where do... Where? They're, they're denied access. The, the fencing's preventing them from having access. Those poor boats. <laughs> oh, awesome. 
Oh, this is stunning. I'm blown away. This is absolutely stunning. I love the color combinations. I love where the items are placed. I love just the whole look of it. It's just incredible. I don't know what it is, but it's fantastic. I love this right here. You know, there are some breathtaking views on this island, but I have to say this right here may be one of my favorite spots. Just because of the fact that I love how it was put together and constructed. It is amazing. It's amazing. And I know I'm weird. I find the most random builds the most incredible. Like Compared to other builds on this island, I would not expect this to be, and I'm announcing it now, I would not expect this area to be my favorite. I, I would not. Based upon all of the incredible builds that we have seen so far, I would not expect this. But I love this build. I love this setup. There's just something about it. I can't necessarily put my finger on it, but I love it. I'm announcing it right there. That's, that's my favorite setup. So... Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Way to represent. <laughs> um Um hi. Hey, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to wake him up. It's not working. I tried. I tried, guys. Oh, I love this. Is it I'm guessing this is kind of like a little shipping yard that has all the boxes that are being delivered. It also looks like we have a little um, area to sit down and get something to drink. It's just awesome. Oh my goodness. And a little boat repair area. Yes. Okay. I don't know if that's what this was meant to be. But if you guys in the future are looking to do a port-themed island, don't forget about the, the boat repair area. There's always a place where boats need to go in and get more fuel. There's always places where boats need to go in and get repairs. If you can't figure out what you want to put on your port island, port town island, or you're running out of ideas, don't forget about a repair area, a gas area, and a gas area for the boats. This is an awesome idea. It's very, it's a small, small design, but it is, it's perfect for this island. It is legit perfect because of the fact that this is a realistic thing that you would find in a port city, a place where boats are brought to repair, to be repaired. Awesome. And then of course, wee! Wee! <laughs> so guys, I believe that is everything on this incredible island. We did a huge loop around the entire island saw so many incredible builds. I know I just announced my favorite spot, which is this right here. This is just a beautiful build to me, but I am gonna go back to one of the incredible views to close out this island tour, just because I think it was such an amazing view and amazing build, but guys, what was your favorite part of this island? What helped inspire you? Leave a comment down below. Would love to read them. I know Matilda would absolutely love to read them as well. So please share with us. What did you find inspiring? What, you know, made you smile? Made you happy? What, uh, just all those positive feelings. What part of this island 
brought that out for you. But I'm going to leave here on this part right here because this is such an incredible view and I'm sure a lot of you guys will enjoy this view as well. But Matilda, thank you so much for requesting an island tour. This was amazing. I know you have been working long and hard on creating this island. I am so excited that your uh, dream address is finally made public for people to come and check out. I have been getting a lot of hints about this island and getting a lot of teasers about it. And I'm just, I'm so excited that it's finally here. Well, hello. <laughs> just right down in the corner there. So, guys... Be sure to come check this island out for yourself. It, It's incredible. It is beautiful. It is breathtaking. I am just in awe with this island. It's fantastic. So please check it out. Make sure you show your support for this uh, tour video by clicking that like and subscribe button, as well as clicking the notification bell so you can be alerted whenever I add new videos to my channel. But yeah, guys, this concludes our tour of Fiddle Point. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. If you couldn't tell by my excitement and my enthusiasm for this uh, tour, I definitely had a wonderful time. So like I said, Matilda, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to come and tour your island. Guys who came along on this journey with, uh, with me, thank you for watching this video it means a lot to me wherever you guys are in this incredible world have a wonderful rest of your day keep on being inspirational and until next time guys bye bye